Switzerland. Right, question number three. Which county won the Connacht Senior Football Championship in 1995? I'm sorry. Yeah. Galway. Is correct. They beat Mayo in the final. So that's two out of three. Question number four, question on soccer. Since Leeds United's defeat by Bayern Munich in 1975, how many times have English sides lost a European Cup final? Is it twice, three times, or four times? Four times. It's correct. West Ham to Anderlecht in 76, Arsenal to Valencia in 80, Liverpool to Juventus in 85, and Arsenal to Real Zaragoza in uh, 1995. So you get your point. So that's three out of four. Question number five. The Lions are a leading American football side from which American city? The Lions. Something Lions. Oh yeah. Take a guess. No, Detroit. Detroit. Right, the final question. You've, you've got three out of five. Stephen Wall and Mark Taylor play test cricket for which country in the Southern Hemisphere? New Zealand. No, it's Australia. You got three out of six. Bring your team score up to 22. Well done, Liam. <laughs> right, we're still in round three for St. Finian's. David's on the spot for them. His chosen category is geography. So six questions for you. In which Russian city would you find the Cathedral of St. Basil? Uh, it's correct. The second question. Name either of the EU countries at the end of the Alpine Pass called Mont Cenis. Italy. Yeah, and France is the other one. Question number three. How many counties are there in the province of Leinster? Twelve. It's correct. Question number four. Danzig is the German name for which Polish port? Danzig is the German name for which Polish port? Krakow. No, it's Gdansk. That's three out of four. Question number five. On which Caribbean island would you find the popular hol holiday resort of Montego Bay? Cuba. No, it's Jamaica. Three out of five. And your final question, question number six. Egypt has coasts on two seas. Can you name either of them? Mediterranean. Yes, and the other one is the Red Sea. You get your points. So at the end of the round, Mullingar on 32 points. So at the end of the specialist round, the teams can take a break. As I tell you about our viewers' quiz, it's a chance for you to win uh, a Sony PlayStation. It's a revolutionary new game, video game system. It's the ultimate in computer games with incredible 3D graphics and stereo sound. If you'd like to win this Sony PlayStation, just answer this simple question. What's the capital city of Finland? What's the capital city of Finland? If you know the answer, you can dial 1550 844 That's 1550 844 or 0891-88-1939 if you're in Northern Ireland. That's 891 double eight 1939 and the lines remain open 24 hours a day so now it's on with today's uh, this evening's competition and we asked science nine to make his selection for man from the morrow what would it be for them it's history including modern day politics will you stay or go again we'll stay we'll stay on that right sean two questions for you this is your first which city was captured by north korean forces on the 28th of june 1950. Okay. Which city was captured by North Korean forces? Seoul. Seoul is correct. <coughs> second question. In which century did the Second and Third Crusades take place? Which century? Fifteenth. No, it's the twelfth century. Right, Sean Ella, your question on history including modern day politics. In July of 1867, in a quarry in Red Hill, Surrey, what did Alfred Nobel demonstrate the force of for the first time? Dynamite. Dynamite is correct. And your second question. In 1266, Scotland gained the Hebrides at the, at the Treaty of Perth from which Scandinavian country? Um, confer. Confirm. So Scotland gained the Hebrides at the Treaty of Perth in 1266 from which Scandinavian country? Norway. Norway is correct. Liam, two questions for you. What was the kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes renamed in October of 1929? Yugoslavia. It's correct. Right. In 1975, which two Middle Eastern countries agreed the deepest part of the Shat al Arab waterway as a frontier? Confirm. Confirm. Two Middle Eastern countries agreed the deepest part of the Shat al Arab waterway as their frontier. Egypt. No, it's Iran and Iraq. Iran and Iraq. Right. At the end of the round, you're on 28. Now, Mullingar on 32 points in front but they do have a round in hand you have to decide whether you're going to go for the honest question or not 
Mm -hmm. It's not a happening. Right here. Still 28 is a very respectable score, so don't get downhearted. Here is your question. It's a sort of a geography question. Which three colours appear on the national flag of Luxembourg for four points? Which three colours appear on the national flag of Luxembourg? It's an important question for you. Blue, white and red. It's correct. You get your four points. So at the end of the round, Dingle on 32 points. <laughs> We're still in round four for St. Finian's. Let's see what Einstein will select for them. Music and entertainment, Stephen. We'll stay. We'll stay on that. Okay. First time this evening. David, two questions for you. Which American indie four-piece are fronted by Tanya Donnelly? Confer. Conferring. Belly. Belly is correct. Your second question. In which Ulster County was the RTE BBC co-production salmon drama called The Hanging Gale set? So the question is, in which Ulster County was The Hanging Gale set? Confer. Confer. One point. Antrim. No, it's Donegal. No points there. Barry, two questions for you. Which veteran Canadian rocker is known as the godfather of grunge? Mm. Any idea? Confer. I need to hear confer just a little bit earlier than that. Okay. okay, go ahead. Which veteran Canadian mm. rocker is known as the godfather of grunge? Neil Young. Neil Young is correct. And, and staying with the not so young Neil Young, in which decade was he born? Uh, to the 50s. No, he was, he was born in 1945, 40s. Right, Stephen, two questions for you. Which, com which comic, cinema and TV character is the son of Jarrell and Lara Lorvan? So a comic, cinema and TV character is the son of Jarrell and Lara Lorvan. Confer. Confer. Comic, cinema and TV character. Uh, Dennis. No, it's Superman. Clark Kent would have done me. Right, your second question. On which TV channel is the black music quiz show The Vibe broadcast? Confer. Confer. BBC Two. Is correct. Okay, let's have a look at the scores then. You're on 35, which is only three points ahead of Dingle, but you have the option of going for the honest question. If you go for it and get it right, you'll be on 39, which is seven points in front going into the final round. If you get it wrong, you'll be on 31, which is one point behind going into the final round. So now you have to decide. You can take some time among yourselves to weigh up the pros and the cons. Uh, we'll go for it, You'll go for it. Okay, an important question for you. Here it is. Listen carefully. Which stout firm sponsored Dermot Morgan's 1995 show, Black Humour? Guinness. Guinness is correct. You get your four points. But at the end of the round, Mullingar on 39 points. <laughs> Next up is our final round. It's our rapid-fire buzzer round. So seven points separate the teams. An easy enough deficit to make up in our final round. A reminder to both teams, please wait till I say the name of your school before you answer. And only the person whose light comes on may answer the question. That's very important. Okay, fingers on the buzzers. The next minute will decide who goes forward to the first semi-final of Group 5. Good luck to both teams. And our minute starts now. All's well that ends well. Time and of Athens. Troilus and Cressida and Julius Caesar are all plays by which? Dingle? Shakespeare. Is correct. What's 19 multiplied by 4? Dingle? I need an answer. 76. Is correct. According to the popular song, there were 76 of which brass instrument in the hit parade? Anybody? Trombones. Where in your body would you find a bone called the fibula? Mulgar? Three legs. Is correct. How many legs has a, rhinocer a rhinoceros? Dingle? Four. Is correct. What's the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet? Dingle? Gamma. Sorry? Gamma. No, it's Delta. One point deducted. The city of New Orleans lies on the delta of which river? Dingle? Mississippi. It's correct. How many times does the, le does the letter P appear in Mississippi? Dingle? Four. No, it's two. One point deducted. Who played James Bond in the film You Only Live Twice? Dingle? Roger Moore. No, Sean Connery. One point deducted. What was James Bond's agent number? Dingle? 007. It's correct. What's the seventh month of the year? Dingle? July. It's correct. With which instrument the associate TV presenter... It's over! <laughs> Well, the tension was getting to me there and to my teeth. Uh, for the second time in a row, we have a tiebreaker in Blackboard Jungle. And just to remind people and you at home of the rules, I will ask the next question. Well, I've started that one, so I'll go on to the next one. I will ask this question. And if 
a team buzzes and gets it correct, they are automatically winners. If they buzz and get it incorrect, they lose. If both teams um, decide not to answer the question, then I'll ask the next question and we continue until we get a result. Is everybody happy with those rules? Right. Okay. So fingers on the buzzers. This question will decide who goes forward to the first semi-final of Group 5. Here it is. What's the capital of Bulgaria? Dingo? Sophia. It's correct. Well, commiserations to St. Finian's College from Mullingar. You got off to a dream start, and the lads just kept sort of getting back at you. Uh, but 41 is a very respectable score, and you get the personal spare of your week. Well done to David, Stephen, and Barry. <laughs> and congratulations to the lads from Mount Gulnamohara in Dingle. We'll see you back here for the first semi final in Group 2. Well done, or Group 5, as I say. Well done to Sean, Neen, and Sean. Right, yo, next time on Blackboard Jungle, it's the second game of Group 5, and that's between last year's winners, St. Peter's College from Wexford, and they take on Banadabi from County Sligo. Join us then on Blackboard Jungle. Bye for now.